Um, there's a way you can look at trust. Like, if you can just picture, you know, God's hand as the very place that you were traumatized, the very place you received so much pain and hurt, and you, the very place you've become wounded is scarred, um, the very place that you fell in became the canvas with all of these marks, you know, as a as a, a a fossil look at yourself as a fossil you know the living testimony of what happened to you seeing yourself as this in this way you know, you you really don't see yourself in this way. This is this is just the way you are. This is the way humans are. You know, we are what we've experienced. What I'm trying to say is that it's hard to trust God with a situation. When you walk out and you you're you're trying your best to be humble to the situation. You're trying your best to let life be, let things happen the way they are. But it's so hard because in our mind, we have so much that we've been through with this very place, this very place, you know, we're trying to heal ourselves in. You know, and then I don't know why I came up with the idea of just imagine. Well, I guess that can help the situation. Like if you just imagine um, the place you're in that hurt you, you know, just keep that in mind. Imagine a place that you're in as God's hand. It becomes easier to take that step out. It becomes easier. It becomes more it, a feeling of safety and nourishment and a sense of joy and the sight of light, you know, the sense of warmth comes over you and you don't pay attention to what's been done. You see past everything that you've been through and you just focus in on God's hand. Just looking like the, the plants, you know, the plants, as the plants rise from the earth on the shows and is displayed on the, on the earth, you know, you can look at that. And you can just imagine God's fingers, you know, telling you that it's okay to step into my hand. You know, I have you. You got this. You got this.